This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Let's get OpenBSD ports up and running. For that one, we are going to follow FAQ ports. By default, for me, OpenBSD ports is not useful because they consist of the same application that you can find under your OpenBSD unless you try with the current one, which basically grabbing the ports from the current version and then having it on your uh, stable release. However, the main benefit of having OpenBSD port for me is to play around with the OpenBSD work in progress port. So this repository consists of applications, programs, games that are in the process of being ported to the OpenBSD. So they are more or less in the alpha slash beta phase. And some of them, of course, are dead. For example, the OBS port is pretty much dead. You cannot even compile it anymore. But in case that you want to play around with it or take it from here, you can do so. Or there is a pipe wire that's been added like a five months ago. So the objective is to not only get the official ports up and running, but also get this OpenBSD VIP, uh, WIP port up and running too. Let's begin. We are going to the TMP directory and then we are going to grab the ports. This one would be the official one, of course. CDN OpenBSD and OpenBSD. Here you can either download the current one or you can actually pass the any version that you want. In my case, I'm just going to get the 7.2. So for that one, uname dash r and we are going to grab two files ports.tar.gz and then the signature file sha25.sig all right now we have to actually verify the file to ensure that it's not compromised or things like that so signify openbsd and we pass the version we gotta cut the first and the third column base.pop and pass the file so the file is healthy it's not compromised the next step is to switch to the root user go to the user directory this is a place that we are going to extract the file so x zf slash tmp ports so now it's extracting the zip file here and once it's done we can play around with the permission so that you don't need to switch to root user to compile ports so the only time you will need to switch to root user or run do as when it comes to the ports would be at the final stage where you do make install okay so this is extracted now what we are going to do we are going to change the ownership of couple of directories so chown dash r then i pass the my username and the group here would be port directory first of all and then I'm going to change the object directory as well. So obj, of course, doesn't exist currently, but we can actually do it later on. And then it should be dist files, which doesn't exist as well. And then the packages, this one also doesn't exist. But that's not a big deal because we haven't attempted to, to compile any port. That's why these three directories do not exist. The main thing is to do this one and then we take it from there later on. Now, the next step is to actually configure the OpenBSD work in progress port. For that one, we are going to clone this repository or download the zip file or you can do whatever. As long as you can actually get the content of this repository, you are good. My preferred way is to actually just copy this guy. I didn't need I didn't even need to write 
https then you can type archive then afterwards you can actually grab the master for uh, master branch and then tar.gz so this one downloads the tar.gz which is impossible to get from the interface only you can get the zip file and then you need to actually have unzip commands installed tar.gz is better for me now we go to the ports directory and we need to extract that file so it resides in the slash tmp master and now we have openbsd vip master we can actually get rid of this master thingy so it will be more concise so openbsd work in progress openbsd this one okay fantastic now if we go for example to the let's say to something here i am not sure where let's go to the fonts for example this is the, uh, the official uh, directory of course and uh, let's say we go to the hermit fonts so we can actually do make and we see that it fails why that fails we are not entirely sure but if we do do as make it will pass so the reason for it is because of the object directory so let's create those directories so a slash user again so we are going to create do as mkdir obj already exists fantastic let's say whether we have a dist files or no already exists then i assume that we have package as well okay we don't have the packages so we are going to create that one do as mkdir packages and now we need to change the ownership of these directories as i stated to run the in order to run the port under normal user that's necessary so user obj chr dash r probably you can actually drop this dash r as well i just type it to make a bulletproof tutorial and not and having less complaints under my comment section actually and so this is what we have now if we head to the ports here again where we were actually we were under the fonts right fonts hermit we should be able to run the make command so you can see it works and then for example if we want to install we can just do make install it's going to fail right now because for this step you just you need to do the do as this one because it's going to install the package under different directories so it requires to run as root user or do it with do as but back into the topic of the OpenBSD work in progress port. So let's try to do the same under the OpenBSD work in progress, see whether it works or not. I'm not sure where, where, whether there is a small package here. So let's do with the shell maybe. Maybe that one is easy. Oil. So if I do make, it fails and it says that the variable blah 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 is obsolete okay i think this is too old let's go with something else i think the sysutils there is a lsd kind of thing here okay so it fails here and it says that the one category in sysutils lang rust should match the pkg path so we need to set up something here for that one just open the mk.conf we need to edit it we need to add two lines here ports dir equals to a slash user ports and now we have to actually specify the dir path or directory path so ports dir underscore path equals to one would be the normal or the main let's say ports directory the official one ports dir and then another one would be ports dir and this is ports we need to make sure it's correct ports 
dir and then we are going to say ports no i messed up sorry i was writing the same thing again so we have to actually specify the path under openbsd for your own ports in case that you have ports in the private repository whatever you have to actually put it in the my stuff directory so this is the my stuff so for your own ports this is a convention on openbsd you can rename it to anything that you wish nobody is stopping you from doing that but i stick to the convention for the sake of this tutorial and for the openbsd work in progress we have to also specify the paths so it would be openbsd dash wip we save it and now if we go back to here we try to do make it should pass but nonetheless that's a process so you can actually do anything you can play around for example there's conky here or above all there are some games i think there was something like a doom 64 yes here there's a doom 64 here that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors Grog with 30 generous dollar, Stellar Orbit with 20 generous dollar, OpenBSD Maximalist, Alexander M, Hogarth Axcock, Monty, Russell Willis, and Seneca, OpenBSD Enthusiast, DM Liquid Mobius, and finally OpenBSD Curious, Ryan Woodford, and Sigtern.